Okay, so in this booklet, if you go to the page that has all of these notes on it, there you go. You get Avogadro's theory and molar volume, okay? So Avogadro's theory is different from Avogadro's number. Avogadro's number, of course, is that 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 things in a mole. Just like we say 12 dozen things, or pardon me, one dozen things is 12. So one mole of things is 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23, right? That's Avogadro's number. This is Avogadro's law, boys at the back. And Avogadro's laws named after Avogadro. I don't think he actually did this himself. And what the scientists found is that when they took any gas, any gas at all, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, ethanol vapor, any gas, one mole of it occupied a certain temperature and pressure. And this is because, well, if, PV equals NRT. Do you remember that? Well, no. Why do you do this to me? If PV equals NRT, which is, hold on. Okay, please work for me. Just be nice. If PV equals NRT, which people memorize by pervnert. Okay, yep, pervnert. Uh, and I'm looking at something at SATP, then I know the pressure at SATP, right? 101? I know the vol, I don't know the volume. I know R, because it's always the same, and I know the temperature at STP. So actually, at STP, all of these are constants. Okay? And they all mathematically combine into that number. And at STP, if I plugged in its pressure, its temperature, and the R constant, I would come up with this number. And so we can boil down into this lovely formula where V equals N, chuckle this stuff over top of each other, call it a molar volume. And what you end up actually end up with is number of moles equals volume divided by molar volume. Does anybody see a similarity between that formula and another formula? Which one? Pardon? Moles formula. Well, this is a moles formula. Yeah, but the other one. What other one? What is it? Mass over molar mass. Oh, look at that. Right? They are very much the same. Only when would I, would I ever take a mass of a gas in reality, doing an actual experiment? No. You're more likely to take the volume of that balloon than the mass of the gas in that balloon. Right? So this we use for gases, and this we use for solids and pure liquids. Okay? So, if I have a mass and a molar mass that applies at any temperature because in any pressure and any, because the mass is the same, whether it's at sea level or up at a mountain. But the pressure isn't and the temperature isn't. So we have to tell, they have to tell you whether you're talking about SATP or STP, and then this is the molar volume. which then gets plugged in here, okay? So how many moles of um, one liter of oxygen is there at SATP? You then say one liter at SATP, the molar volume at SATP is 24.8. So this is, by the way, V over molar volume, which is big V, just like it's a M over big M. 
Okay. And one divided by 24.8, somebody with a calculator already open, chuck that in for me, what do you get? of this? Oh, it's there. Liters per mole, which I hope you could have figured out on your own because the liters are going to cancel out and you're left with moles. So what Avogadro's volume, molar volume, tells you is how many liters one mole of gas occupies. Because actually, one mole of gas, if M equals little v over big V, one mole of gas, the volume of 24.8, 24.8 equals 1. So every gas, doesn't matter what the gas is, at SATP, that's room temperature and pressure, one mole of it will be 24.8 liters. So that means if I blow up that balloon until it has a volume of 24.8 liters, which I can figure out by pi r cubed or whatever it is, right? I can figure out the volume that I would need, the size of that balloon. That would be one mole of gas inside that balloon. Whether it's gas from you know, your breath, whether it's oxygen, whether it's ethanol vapor. 24.8 liters of a balloon is one mole. Get it? And at STP, the volume would have to be 22.4 liters for that balloon to be one mole. Okay? Do you get Avogadro's number? Do you get it, what it means in theory and how to apply it into a mathematical formula? Those two concepts, theory and mathematical formula. Okay, you, yes, you do need to memorize these numbers. And this is how you memorize them. Well, this is, they all involve multiples of two. Two, four, eight, two, two, four. Okay, two times four is eight. Two times two is four. And the smaller, Oh, this one's a smaller. The smaller number has less letters. STP, 224. SATP, 248. Okay, that might not work for you, but it might. And of course, they're just based because PV equals NRT, which you've already, have you not answered one at STP? You had to go and look up the pressure at STP, you had to look up, vol if it, you could have solved it this way too. Because the numbers would have reduced to, I can't remember, I think it was SATB, would have reduced to 24.8. Okay, so I'm going to find some questions for you to use this formula in your uh, SNAP booklet. And then um, that should be everything you need to know on this unit, ready for the unit exam. Okay, questions on that?